My inspiration for Spring 2012 was came from two very different places, pop art and couture shapes. And I wanted to mix those two elements into one cohesive collection. Jason was really inspired by the artist cause and also pop art in the 50s too. So we've used scarlet lipstick with um, neon orange powder on top, perfect cheek in the apples and a little bit of shine here. Uh, just brushing eyebrows, using a very thin eyeliner across the lid and brushing into the lashes because we're not using mascara, just to give definition. So the look for Jason Wu today is a bit of a Grace Kelly, Hubdo, just in the front of the head. In the back, it's very boyish, where we had little black feathers. The feather was not something important. It's just a touch. We're using the mousse from uh, Kerastase and the hairspray, because we need texture. I think it's always about challenging myself as a designer and it just feels like a really right moment to look at sport and a really great moment to do dressed up in a new way and I feel like that's the direction fashion has shifted already. I adore Jason. I think this was the strongest show ever. I felt that, um, you know, there was, I loved the way it was a bit more, it was still buttoned up and prim, but it, there was a more languidness to it. It was very much a 50s element, but without it being so sort of retro that there was a modernity. I love Jason. I think uh, he's one of the designers that was part of the CFD Book Fashion Fod, and he's really one of the more successful ones. The thing about Jason is runway is always a little interesting and challenging. He had that kind of white shingle lacquer um, runway that I wonder how the models even work on that, but no, nobody fell. I think what was really interesting was I loved the way he put back all the um, sort of windbreaker parkas over everything. And I think that's going to be a massive trend for the season anyway, What almost what I'm calling athletic couture. Kaz and I met through a mutual friend and uh, actually the collection was very much in session already by the time we met and I wanted him to put his spin on do the way I do prints. I love the idea. He's sort of our generation's Keith Haring and the genius of his work has been so inspiring to me so I couldn't be happier in collaborating with him and you know having his uh, big ex exhibition opening tomorrow in LA at the Honor Fraser Gallery really it you know makes me think it's a perfect time for the both of us to collaborate. cocktail skirts he sent down. It was a um, black cocktail skirt with a little peplum and it had the feathers underneath the peplum that he then put back with the sleeveless t-shirt with the photo print floral on the front. I think that sums up that whole how you're just like to up turning everything not to be so prim and proper.
That was a little sporty, yeah, a little grandiose at the same time. They really splashed these beautiful big dresses with a sense of lightness and bright colors. You know, and the gazar was weaved to be tissue weight, so that, you know, while we achieved volume, we still had the feeling of spring. Loved, you know, the, the high low skirt, you know, what I'm calling the mullet actually, you know, it's short at the front and long at the back in the hot pink and, and the yellow and um, those neon colors. It, it, was, it was just still very Jason, but it was more fluid. There was a sensibility that was a bit more street coming in there, but totally him. really elegant classic clothes for women of all generation and he ended it with this spectacular neon color evening wear that was just I thought really really incredible. I guess the Mother Earth agrees with us because um, we've been blessed with a beautiful weather today that's bright, just like the collection. Mm -hmm.